Oh, wow. There we go. There we go. Wow. <laughs> what was the deal with that? Wow. Yeah, for some reason, my, uh, my five. All right. Let me make sure uh, it's on. I made some minor adjustments, and I think that fixed it. Yep, I'm on. I'm live. All right. Uh, please check out blackcatbooks.org, and we are set with the wonderful 101 on Nintendo Wii U. Uh, one of This is definitely uh, one of my all-time favorite uh, Wii U games, one of my favorite games, period. It's just, it's just that impressive, and uh, it's so disappointing to see the game um, be mistreated this way by... Um, well, I, I mean, for a lot of reasons. Uh, oof. Maybe I should just talk about the game itself. Yeah, what what a level to uh, to pick up on after a couple of years of not playing this game. I don't think I played it at all throughout all of 20, 2019. Uh, oops. Yeah, I don't even remember what I was trying to do. Uh, here we go. There we go. Oh wow! Yeah, I am. Com I am way out of practice. Uh... Yes, yeah, this made the short list for one of my favorite games of all time. Um... There we go, Ukami. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to look at the. Uh the achievement screen to see what exactly uh, I'm missing here. Are you serious? Okay, uh, hang on. Yeah, it's been a while since I played this. Oh, wow. Oof. Damn, they're everywhere. Wow, I... Damn, it's been a while since I played this. Shit! Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, swing. Yeah, I used to be good at this game, but it's been so long since I've played it. Uh, Alright. I might be playing on a higher difficulty, too. Oof. Guri Dura. Yeah, it always made me laugh when people said that, like, Bloodborne was hardcore. That, that wasn't hardcore. Like, Bloodborne ain't shit. This is where it's at. Uh, yeah, this was, like, back in the day, it was, like, my go-to example as to why Nintendo games were so much better than the competition. Because, like, look at it. It's so original. There's nothing else like it. Uh, way more intense. And I kind of forget how to, um... How do you, how do you use Unite Camp? Is it old Y? Wow, yeah, I, I can't remember how to use certain moves. Yep, there we go, easy. Yep, here we go. There's two of them now. Yeah, I think the whip did 
adapted really, really well. Uh, that was a big whip, too. Oof. It's gonna be. A, it's gonna take a while to get back into the, uh, the swing of things. <laughs> This isn't. This wasn't a level I was uh, super fond of to begin with. So. I gotta love how uh, after all the uh, the shilling the Kickstarter got, how uh, now that the game is out, nobody's talking about it anymore. Oops! Oh shit. Uh, really, really makes you think. Yeah, interesting. How the only time anybody was optimistic about this game in its entire lifespan. You know, since it was announced, since it came out, the only time anybody was ever optimistic about it was when uh, it went multiplayer. Like, that that was it. That was the only reason. That was the only time anybody thought to give this game any credit. It, it was so frustrating. What a disappointing uh, end to Platinum Games, like, really. And this is the last really good game they ever made, isn't it? The really good one. Uh, well, I, I haven't played Nier, but I imagine it's not that great. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't care for Astral Chain too much. Not as much as this, for sure. Yeah, Platinum Games uh, going down, going the way of Rareware. All right, here we go. Uh, there's no way I'm playing on, like... What am I playing on? Hang on, let's fist him. Got him. Got him. Holy shit, really? That was a that was platinum time, really? I didn't I did not think I did not think so. Uh anybody like this really was like Star Fox Zero before it was Star Fox Zero, right? Where people were insisting that there were all these problems with the game and its controls. Uh It really, when there really isn't, like, people are just plebs. Well, the people complaining were just plebs. IGN, um, everyone. Oh, this is the first time I've actually used Wonder Green. I mean, how can you not love this? This is awesome. He can turn, he turns, he can turn them into a gun. He turns these guys into guns and fires them as bullets. How is that not the coolest thing you've ever seen in your life? Like, that in and of itself makes this a 10 out of 10. Like, just... Oh, hello. How are you? Yes, I'm doing very well, thank you. I just got done editing uh, Dearly Beloved. Well, working on it. Uh, so, yeah, I thought I'd take, I would take a break and play some Wonderful 101. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm uh, looking for beta, re beta readers for, for Dearly Beloved. So, uh, if you're interested, please reach out to me on Twitter. Wait a minute. Oh, here we go. I, I think what you're supposed to do is... Wait, what? Yeah, what are, you, what are you supposed to do here? I legit don't remember. Uh, You just have to make it bigger and... See, so yeah, that's how you do the camp. All right. Hang on. Oh, okay. So you wait for it to come up, and then you use the bomb. And that should do it. Probably. I don't remember this bit at all, so... Well, it's either that, or I'm overthinking it. Oh, I didn't throw it. Okay, here we go. Got him. Oh, shit. Yeah, what am I doing? Wait. Really? 
Really? Really? Okay, I, I think it is. Really? Uh... Damn thing is just... Uh, it's taunting me. Look at it wiggle. Shit! I moved ahead slightly and there it goes. Like, just jolts upward. Uh... It has been a while since I've done this. I don't think since I beat it on hard. Uh... Did it disappear on me? Oh, wow. This is ridiculous. Uh... Oh, there we go. Okay, can I... Got it! Holy shit. Yeah, you just had to stand back a lot. Make it as big as possible. Wow. Oh, I completely forgot about Wonder Hammer. I've not used him at all. Oh, it's, it's been going great. Uh, I've been doing really well. Thank you. Yeah, I've, I've been playing Wii U all day, I think. Did I play any Switch at all? I, I think, yeah, I played Donkey Kong when I first got up, right? Yeah, I played some Donkey Kong Country, and then I switched to Wii U, and I've been uh, getting caught up on all these old Wii U games that I haven't played in a while. So yeah, Pikmin 3 was great. Um, Xenoblade was not great. Uh, okay. It's really... Um, what else did I play? Like, I, I did play Xenoblade, I did play Pikmin 3. Pikmin 3 is, like, the GOAT. I need to make videos about that, yeah. I, I really should have, like, been paying attention, like, making notes on, like, video topics. Because I, I think I'm, uh, out of video topics, uh, upcoming premiere videos, so I need to talk about stuff. Oh, and I read some Helsing. Helsing, uh, I'm basically done with my first Deluxe Edition, and I'm about ready to talk about that. Uh, so yeah, please look forward to that. I think I'll do that after I log off tonight, uh, once I get tired of, uh... Beating, beating up aliens. There we go. Uh, well, I'm nearly done with Helsing. I, uh... Shit. Wait, why can't I jump on this thing? Wait. Why am I not able to jump? Alright. Hang on. Wait, what? Here we go. What is this? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so you're supposed to... Okay. Oh, damn, really? Okay. Ugh. Zero out of ten. I I couldn't figure out how this is supposed to work. Wait. Wait. Hang on, wait. Oh, there we go. Got it. Oh damn, that is so cool. How can you not love this? This is amazing. All right, shit. I can tell you why you wouldn't love it if you're a if you're a game journalist trying to ruin Nintendo and the Wii U. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Can I throw that back with? Oh shit! This is, this is definitely one of those examples of how game journalists have no idea what they're talking about. Here we go. Shit, hang on. What are they doing? Just just shoot it. Wait, did I, did I do it right? Oh, shit. Hang on. going on? Why? Oh, is that a, is that a hammer spot? Hang on. Oh, it is. Okay. But it's not important. Like, the actual glowy thing doesn't actually matter. 
Oh, can I shoot it with Wondergreen? I think I can. Hang on. You can! Oh, no. I was trying to counter the attacks. I didn't think... Oh, wait a minute. I have a gun, don't I? Yeah, I have not played this game in a while. I completely forgot everything I can do. Uh, to be fair, this level is kind of weird anyway. This is not the level I would have start off, started off with if, uh, if I hadn't been in the midst of playing it. Here we go. Yeah, I, I do want the turret. Here we go. How is that not badass as fuck? Oh, shit. Ah. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, for those of you who have uh, bought, and, um, bought and read my books, uh, first of all, thank you. I am very, very grateful. And uh, second of all, uh, I would really appreciate it if you were to leave a review. I would greatly appreciate that. Uh, all feedback is very, very helpful, and I would love to hear from you. Shit. Oh, shit. Are you serious? Ugh. Damn. Yeah, yeah, I am, um, oh yeah, I, I should have made a, shit, some kind of video talking about the direct, uh, I mean, I guess I did, I, I talked about the backlash a bit, but, uh, I, I tried to do a live reaction, but for some reason my streaming software is garbage and doesn't work right, uh, when it comes to, like, doing YouTube reactions, like, so I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to figure out, like, a better software to use, because I, it's not, the, it's not the computer, it, it, it's running perfectly fine for me. But uh, for you, it, like, fucks with the rendering and does all this stupid shit. Like, it freezes. It doesn't show, like, me or the uh, or the stream moving, which is just ridiculous. It, it's not that complicated, uh, but it won't work properly. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to, like, shift to another format. Like, the, the format I'm using now, uh, the reason I don't stream on Twitch is because it doesn't work on Twitch. It just it just won't. Uh, it's not compatible with Twitch. So, uh, I'm no stranger to it, but I, I don't like having multiple different pieces of software for different services and different things I want to do. It's, it's annoying. Oops, shit. Here we go. Shit. I, oh shit. This is, oh, like when this game first came out, I would have called this like the most underrated game on Wii U. And in some ways it probably is. Like this is the game, this is definitely the game that really uh, proved the Wii U to be better than the PS4 for sure in my eyes. But uh, I, I think in the years since, like there have been a, a couple more that have been uh, kind of overlooked. Like Tokyo Mirage Sessions, Devil's Third, uh, Star Fox Zero. Honestly, I would say this is better than Star Fox Zero, but uh Actually, all of those, actually. Um, I, I do prefer this over them, but uh, they're, they're super, super underrated. Devil's Third. Um, Devil's Third is, like, the worst example. I have no idea what happened with Devil's Third. I don't know why Nintendo had this... Uh, Nintendo America tried to sabotage it. M my assumption, it's because of uh, Itagaki's involvement. Um... Yeah, I've, I haven't heard from Itagaki at all since Devil's Third came out. I, I guess he's semi-retired. I mean, I mean, he says he's working on new games, uh, but uh, yeah, I would want it. I, I would want it to be like a new Devil's Third for sure, or a remake or something. I don't know. Like probably not a remake. Uh, probably just a Devil's Third Black. Cause like honestly, Devil's Third is just is fine the way it is. It just needs like some rebalancing. It needs like more difficulty features. It needs uh, honestly like we just need a Wii U or a Switch version, like a free. You know, even like a free to play, um, free to play like a downloadable game or the multiplayer. Honestly, like I have the single player, so I don't really care if it gets re released or not. But uh, it's the multiplayer I am really anxious to see return because the multiplayer in that is great. It's way, way better than Call of Duty. Yeah, I I fuck around there too much. 
it was so frustrating, like, seeing people, like, attack Devil's Third when it really doesn't do anything wrong. If anything, it's, like, it's a lot better than the games it tries to be like. Uh, it's so weird seeing, like, DMC fans, like, come out and say, oh, uh, DMC is so much better than this. Devil's Third isn't meant to be like DMC. I, I don't understand. De DM Devil May Cry fans are so salty about Ninja Gaiden being so much better than, like, um, Devil May Cry. It's ridiculous. Like, they are so salty. They are so salty. Like, anyone who's played both will tell you that, like, Ninja Gaiden Black is better, but, uh, um, Devil May Cry fans just don't like to admit that. <laughs> they really don't. It's, it's really, it's really sad. Uh. Like, I love Ninja Gaiden Black so much. It's good. It's so good. I, I, I haven't played two yet. Um, so I don't know how I feel about, like, the series as a whole. And, and I hate three, so uh, three is bad, but that was after Itagaki left, so that's not really up for debate. I don't know, like, it, it's weird seeing DMC fans, like, defend shit like two and, like, the reboot when it comes to, like, uh, shitting on Ninja Gaiden, like, oh, DMC is way better than this. DMC had, like, you, you know, DMC has such a checkered history at this point. You have two, you have the reboot, you have five, like, there's so much bullshit. How the fuck are you justifying this as, like, some premier action game series, because it really isn't. Like, at this point, like, Bayonetta has better has had better entries. Ninja Gaiden is an older franchise in general. Ninja Gaiden has been around since the NES days. I, I don't understand uh, Ninja Gaiden, um, Double May Cry fans and their obsession with, like... Oh, here we go. Oh, I, I screwed that up. That was a QTE, and I didn't do it right. Is there an easy way to build up energy? Because I don't think I... Shit. Yeah, see, I ran out of battery. Like, yeah, it's just... I'm having trouble with my battery. I think I'm, like, using too big uh, of attacks. Here we go. Well, to be fair, how are you going to do real damage if you don't have... Shit. I'm not sure if I was looking any for anything in here. Uh, or what. Here we go. Shit. really take that long for the camp to activate? Well, whatever. Uh, there we go. Got it. Got him. Check him. Yeah, gold. I must be playing on normal. There's no way. There's no way this is hard. Can you check? I, I honestly can't remember if you can check. Hang on. Uh, what are we on? Hero heart. Oh, yeah. We can look at the achievements, too, right? No, no, you can only do that. Oh, yes, we can. Yeah, I wanted to look at where we were. Battlefront 2? Um, it sucks, yeah. Yeah, so I still have not 101%ed one, one, one this. Uh, wait. Oh, here we go. Complete all stages on... Yeah, yeah, okay. Obtain all the hero heart pieces. I'll have to look that up. Increase your vital gauge to the max. Obtain. That has to be all of the wonderful 101s, right? Earn an average of at least silver across all operation result screens. Oh, that's probably what I was trying to do now. Earn a platinum or higher in all operation result screens. Defeat the without ever letting it get big. Rescue all the D and D. Did I really not get that one? Execute at least 30, 50 throws. Mix 100 times. Yeah, there, there, there are some weird ones I haven't done. Land 10 types of Unite Morph attacks in a single combo. I was so fired up about 100%ing this at one point, but, uh, yeah. I'm not sure if I really want to do it. Uh, I mean... I mean, maybe I'll get back into it someday, but, um, yeah, if I didn't do it when I was when it first came out, I don't think uh, I'll be fired up about doing it. Which, which, which is kind of a shame, but oh well. I don't think I was as big. I mean, I, I still haven't 101%ed 100, uh, the original Bayonetta either. That, I'm working on that now. Oh, oh, that's why I didn't want to play this. That's right, because I was I was still working on Bayonetta, which I also didn't do. Um, I'm inclined to say Bayonetta is better than this. He's like, th there's not a period of time where like, okay, wait a minute, what am I supposed to be doing? That shit. 
don't know. I think it's more accessible. Oops. Here we go. Shit. Platinum coin. Wait, what the fuck was that? Well, anyway. Uh... Maman. Corbin must be tossed in his sleep. He's probably You're right. Time is right. <laughs> so yeah, the, the recap on how like crazy creative this game is. Uh your enemy, the Prince Vorkin, has a bioweapon that's inside of him, and you have to go inside of him to eliminate it. So you can uh, do things. I, I, I think I have him help you or whatever. So yeah, this is this is like crazy. This is some crazy shit, and it's it's amazing. Here we go. Uh, wait a minute. I think I wanted to do this operation specifically because I was trying to uh, improve my operation result score or beat the boss here. Because that, that was another thing I wanted to do was uh, beat... Because like, it's the boss here. I, I need to beat the boss here before it can get big, which is part of its... Uh, it's one of its phases. Here we go. Wait, Did we get it? Did we get him? All right, here we go. You gotta love the, the creativity of these bosses. Look how much bigger they are than you. Like this is these these things have to be bigger than the colossi are. Yeah, I, I don't remember how to beat this thing actually. Yeah, it's been that long since I played. Uh... Oh wait, no, wait. How do you reflect lasers? Shit! How do you reflect lasers? Uh. There we go. So just hacking at it works. I thought, like, it was impenetrable or something, but apparently not. There we go. You can hop off its legs, yeah. I thought it was something like that. How is this not the coolest thing you've ever seen in your life? And check this out. You get a... Go on top of it, and then... Oh, here we go. Oh, no, you're supposed to pry it open. Okay, I thought you were supposed to hammer it. Okay. Where did I go? Shit. I hack and I slash and I kick some more ass. Ah, shit. There we go. Yeah, I have to be playing on normal. There's no way I'm playing on a higher difficulty. Shit. 
shit. Or else the game's a lot easier than I remember it being. And plus, I don't know what I'm doing, so it'd be weird that I'm playing on hard. Here we go. Got it. Try it open. Now, when did Battlefront 2 come out? It's been a couple of years, right? Like, I, I know some e-celebrities have been, like, paid to try and, uh... To try and, like, salvage it the, the same way they did with, uh, No Man's Sky, but, uh... I don't think it's really taking off. Wait, wait a minute, what? I thought I could, yep, got it. Careless, but... We got it. Oh, the time was shit. Here we go, Wonder Mark. Operation clear. Oh, that's right. Oh, bronze. Oh, no. If I was going for silver, I fell a bit short. Well, it was way better than I got last time I did this. Uh, Alright, update the current score. This is probably one of those levels that I didn't replay on normal. Uh... I mean, I'm not too fond of it, so I can kind of see why. Okay. Uh, menu. Shocking red. Yeah, literally. There literally is not, there is not a whole lot to buy in the store, um, to be honest with you. Uh, Roger. Yeah, maybe I wanted to go back and uh, fin finish Metroid Fusion. Um, that was one of my goals for, um, plugging in the Wii U. Setting up the Wii U for streaming. Metroid Fusion, man. Wasn't I supposed to finish that, like, a couple of months ago? And I still haven't done it. Just, uh... I'm getting caught up on everything, don't worry. Sure. I think, as I recall, this level's actually shorter than the others. Do you fight the... Do you fight the boss now? I think you do. Yep, there it is. Bikey. <laughs> oh no. Oh, and peace. 
All right, here we go. <laughs> uh. All right, here we go. So we got a. Yep, we have a star box segment. Oops. It's been a while since I've done this fight. Wow. This game is like the master of like the crazy just out there boss fights. The game is like overall way better than Bayonetta when it comes to this kind of thing. Ah shit. Everybody go. Where did he go? He's hiding. All right. Okay. Okay, uh... There we go, got him. How can you not love Run Wonder Red just punching people in the face? It's so satisfying. Here we go. All right. All right, we're back to the Star Fox section. Oh, by the way, uh, Star Fox Zero is better than this, but uh, 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 I'm sorry, but I but I really need to, like, just come out and say that, like, every time this, this happens, because, like, well, I, I, I got really, really frustrated with, like, just the weird, the weird sort of comparisons that Star Fox people would, like, throw at Star Fox Zero, like, oh, Ratchet & Clank is better than this. No, it's not. No, it's not. Uh... Okay. Okay, wait, are we there? There we go, all right. Yeah, I think the sword might be the best one to use here, just because of its length. So you can hit it like no matter what the combo you're on. Alright. Awesome. Alright, we got it. Now we just gotta move on to the next phase. These boss fights are crazy long. Crazy, crazy long. Alright, here we go. Oops.
There we go. Got it, got it, got it. Got it, got it, got it. And now that I've, like, I, I think this is the first time I've played this since uh, before actual, actual Train was even announced, actually. Um, yeah, playing it again, I'm really I'm really surprised at how much better this is than Astral Chain. Well, not, not really surprised, but, uh, I, I mean, it's really blatant if you play both. Uh, this is so much better. Like, when I first played this, I, it, I was, like, going back and forth with, between whether it was better or not in Bayonetta. I, I think it, it, it really does depend on my mood, I think. I really like both. Got him. Got him. Unite Naginata. These this game has the best QTEs of all time, by the way. It's so satisfying. Like I never get tired of seeing this shit. It's so well animated. Shit, yeah, right. Oh, yeah, Switch is the most popular platform for sure. I don't think that's really debatable. Shit, I think it's getting bigger. Nope, shit. No. No, shit. Ah. Okay. Just because I ran out of batteries, really, really. I would have gotten it if I didn't run out of batteries and can't keep the heat up. All right, all right, shit, I would have had it. I almost had it. Mobile is irrelevant, PC is dead. Like, I, I think once the boomers start dying off, uh, mobile gaming is gonna lose a lot of its appeal. I haven't seen anyone, like, bring up mobile gaming at all as a viable threat to console gaming in, like, years. Like, nobody's talking about, like, mobile games anymore. Like, if you play mobile games, it's because you're poor and can't play a, a real console. Same with PC gaming in certain countries. It's, a. Uh... Let's see. Amorta. Oh man, I forgot how much I love these characters. There is no undoing what you have done. Thanks for everything, Chugi. No. Ah, suck. We hope your homes will soon be back to their Farewell, dear friends from the depth. Base Chugi. Alright. Emergency. 
Mobile's irrelevant because it's essentially it is it essentially it, it essentially exists because of microtransactions and uh, the mobile model of just ha being a thing that everyone has. It has nothing to do with like being a quality product that people want to buy. Um, as a result, it's only a matter of time until it gets replaced. Which I I think among core audiences, it basically already has. Like I said, it's mostly just casual players, people who just casually play games. Uh, once those people start dying off, uh, once they start getting more and more aggressive with the uh, the microtransactions, basically what's going to happen is that like it's going to be difficult for new people to develop games for mobile and be successful because it's going to be such a saturated market. That, that's what I'm expecting. Um, there's not going to be like runaway successes like there are on console. You know what I mean? It's like, oof. Like what? Splatoon sold like what? Ten million units on a uh, on um on Switch. Oh sweet, that's really good. Way better than the last one, I think. So I just need to get the. Uh... Basically, the, the the demand for real games on Nintendo hardware isn't going to go away. Yeah, it's way better. All right. While um, mobile is just going to stagnate. Um, it's interesting. Like uh, people are talking about like shipping. Uh, chip, uh, chipping your body to have like to do the things your smartphone can do uh, I, I think that's going to be the end of it um, when that starts being trendy which I'm sure it will be uh, at some point or another that's going to have the, that's going to be how they normalize it is just like try to make it trendy um, yeah final result alright so I do have to play this wait wait did I get my Hang on. Oh, here we go. 6B. Okay, so I need 6B. I need 8C. Is that the one I just did? Okay. Yeah, so to get silvers, I'm going to have to go through normal. All right. I'll definitely want to do this at some point, but probably not until after I uh, finish Bayonetta. Operation Exo Atmosphere. Uh, honestly, I kind of want to play Fusion. Uh, this game is fun, but it really does wear on you because it's so intense. Like, honestly, I just, I've always played it in, like, short bursts. I don't think... How long did it take me to beat it? I don't remember. That was before... Okay, so Fusion. I was playing Fusion. Honestly, I kind of want to, like, sign off now and just play some, uh, actually not play anything, uh, read stuff. Maybe edit some more before bed. Uh, read Helsing. Uh, maybe record some videos. Yeah, where, where are we now? Where, what was I doing? Data for the ice missile upgrade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what to do. Get to it. All right, asshole. Oh yeah, I was thinking of uh, streaming other M, so I think I will. Uh, I think I will pop that in the Wii U and uh, stream the entire thing, and then maybe make a video about that too. Man, I'm, so, I'm so like. Uh, there's so many things I want to play. All the time. I, I'm getting caught up, though. Uh, I'm getting to the point where, like, I can focus on the things I want to play rather than, like, the stupid bullshit that uh, I just happen to own. Um... There we go. Knew it. I knew it was something ridiculous like that. Ah, oh, come on. It hasn't been that long since I've uh, replayed Fusion. This is probably like my third time ever playing through this. Um, I, I do like this game a lot. Uh, I, I mean, I, I do agree with the consensus. It's nowhere near as good as... Uh, 
super. And I, I would say, like, probably not as good as Zero Mission. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't played Zero Mission that I haven't played in a while. Shit. Yeah, I don't think I've played Zero Mission at all since um, Samus Returns came out. So, yeah, that's the that's going to be the one I need to play next. But, yeah. Yeah, I, lo I loved... Uh, Zero Mission was the one I owned. It was a lot of fun. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of that one. Yeah, a lot of the Game Boy Advance games I haven't played in a while. I keep playing these uh, these certain games over and over again, but other ones I just haven't gotten around to. Um, yeah, I... <sighs> Here we go. Wait. Was that the... Okay, yeah, we just run and we'll, we'll get through there. No problem. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, speaking of PC gaming, I have indeed uninstalled Steam, and I and I realized just what was eating up all that space. Like, it, it was just Steam. That, that was that was all there was to it. Like, Steam just ate up so much space all by itself. So, uh, yeah, now that now I have plenty of space on my, uh, my computer. Uh, thank you. Removing Steam was worth it. I'd much rather have the free space than, like, the PC games, honestly. Um, yeah, that's, that's how much I did, didn't, like, didn't care for Steam. Uh, yeah, that, that's how little um, I cared for it. Like, the games weren't that great. They all could have run on Switch. Uh, Tekken 7 should have been on Switch. Monster Hunter World should have been on Switch. Uh, what, what else was on there? Uh, Resident Evil 7 should have been on Switch. Yeah, at this point, I'm basically going Switch only. It's just... Um, obviously, I, I still play Wii U and stuff like that. Oh, shit. Okay. I'll still play Wii U occasionally, because, like, I have lots of old games on this thing. But, uh... Like, m mostly, I'm just Switch only, and then I just edit my books. That's it. I check out my books on blackcatbooks.org. Ah, damn, I'm so... I'm so fired up. Oh, man. I don't know, like, opening these security latches is just letting Samus, uh, the SAX, fuck around more, so. It's probably not the best idea, Samus. I mean, that's the really frustrating thing about, like, Fusion, uh, Other M, I, I would say. Um, Other M is basically just a lazy rehash of Fusion. It, it really is, when you get right down to it. Like, there's nothing about it that isn't... It's the same general concept, right? Where you're on a space station with all these uh, all these creatures, right? Uh, and uh, it's worse. Like it, it, it's fusion, but worse. It has none of like the personality or like drive behind it. it, it it's a rehash, which makes it really weird. Since Fu other M supposedly takes place before this, but like fusion, it doesn't acknowledge other M at all. Well, I mean, I, I guess it, uh, I guess it, like acknowledges Adam. Like, the implication is that, like, Adam died in Other M, and that's what she's talking about here. Hilariously, like, the actual, um, Adam death, it, it actually meshes up really well with the, um, with what's stated in this game, from what I can understand. Here we go. Ice effect added to missiles. Uh, what was I talking about? Yeah, yeah, so, so Adam, uh, yeah, I have not played Other M in years, uh, I, I guess it's next to my list, uh, I need to, I need to replay Prime, I mean, I, I did, I did boot up, I did buy Prime on Switch, so, wait, did I get the Ice Missile? Should I have come down here, or should I have gone up? I think I go around again, uh, yeah, I did play, I did buy Prime Trilogy on Wii U, I, I am streaming it, I have been streaming it. Occasionally, it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. But other M, uh, I, I do want to go play again just because I uh, shit. Just because I want to replay it. Um, I mean, other M did clearly influence Samus Returns, which is a great remake. So uh, it's interesting how people really exaggerated how bad uh, other M was, uh, in my opinion. But uh, I'm gonna have to replay it again. I don't think I've replayed it all the way through since I. Uh, I beat it, like, in 2010. 
To be fair, that weekend it came out was one of the worst of my uh, my existence. What the fuck happened that weekend? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, crazy shit. I made, like, a personal sacrifice that didn't pay off. It was it was, it was, was really sad. Uh, here we go. It was the absolute worst. And plus, like, then I went home and, like, played Other M, and it was, like, the most disappointing thing imaginable. Like, like really? Really? Yeah, I, I think I'm going to finish reading Helsing uh, before I do anything else tonight. Yeah, that puzzle really doesn't make any sense. Like, I, re I remembered it from last time, but it, it's one of those things where I'm just like, really, that's, that's your solution? That's your solution to this puzzle. It makes no sense, but okay. Okay, uh, where am I going? Up? Oh, wow, okay, so keep going up. I think I got the ice missile, so all I have to do is just... I mean, this game is pretty straightforward most of the time. Like, it, it's linear as fuck, so... It explains everything. Oops. Wait, do I have to go around? Wait, is there another way around? The fuck? Wait a minute. Yeah, for some reason, it's really easy to die in this game. Like, Samus cannot take a hit. Like, I have no idea what the logic behind it is. Probably probably because, like, every enemy in this game, like, canonically drops, like, stuff that heals her. So, it's just... Here we go. Let's heal a bit. Samus is a girl. All right. Uh, oh, here we go. Wow. I was like, wait a minute. How do I get up here? No. You literally just blasted this wall. Pathetic. All right. I swear they just they just design these maps, realize they don't they wouldn't actually work, and then just come up with these bullshit like tunnels that you can just bomb your way through. Like unbelievable. These level designers, man, they don't know what they're doing. Uh. Oh, it's nightmare. You gotta love how the how these games give give the games um, give the bosses so much personality. There's something down here, right? I might as well check it out. Uh... Now, what was that? What happened? Like, what the fuck was that? Now, give me an explanation. What's this alarm? All right. What did I do? What did I do wrong, man? Cooling unit is malfunctioning. This could easily, it would likely trigger the auto destruct explosive. We have about six minutes. Hurry to sector three and access the control room. Yep, here we go. Six minutes. Yeah, this comes out of nowhere, too. That's one of the things I love about this game. And, like, it, it throws all this crap just at you, and it's great. You have to, like, just adapt to it. It really feels like you're you're in a conflict with these things. It's great. All right, so Sector 3. Yeah, here we go. I think this is the only Metroid game I could think of where, like, there's a timer in the middle of the game, not, at the, not near the beginning of the end. Let's 
see. Uh, what's the way down there? What is the way down there? How do you get down there? It looks like we have to go this way. Uh, yeah, I actually don't remember how to get down there. Uh, which sucks, but oh, oh well, whatever. And the game is like pretty. Map design isn't that complicated, so it's shit, really. Really. That's your brilliant uh, idea for a. Okay, go down. Drop to the left. I kind of love this blistering heat. I love this classic art style. You know, I used to not like Game Boy Advance visuals, but I I'm starting to grow nostalgic for them. Like, they're different than the, the Super Nintendo ones, but uh, I, I don't know. They have a cartoony, like, sort of vibe to them. Like, I didn't, I didn't like it as a kid, but yeah, I, I guess I've grown attached to them as I got older. Oops. Oh, shit, really? Got him. I'm not sure how much, lo how long it's gonna take to get there, but uh, I think I have plenty of time. It's a good thing I got the mice missiles just before I came down here. Shit, I don't know what I would have done without them. All right. Uh. What the fuck, me? Where'd that thing come from? Anyway, that platform just popped out of nowhere. That was awfully convenient. All right, here we go. Oops. Uh. It possessed a scientist to do it. A scientist who would know how to do it. And, yep. I mean, the SAX... The S... Uh, the, not the SAX. The, uh, the X are uh, a really great antagonist. I really wish uh, the series used them more. But uh, I suppose they're so OP, you can't really use them in a lot of settings. Looks like it. Uh, how do I get up? SMT4? I do own it, but I, I've barely played it. I was actually considering uh, playing it soon, playing again soon, actually. Uh, I want to finish a link between worlds first before I, uh, I start playing other 3DS games, but uh, yeah, I am I am considering going back to it. I, I think I will try um, Nocturne and Five, no matter what, what though. I, I I still don't know what I feel about the series as a whole, um, but yeah, I do own it and I do I am planning on playing it at some point. Like I've owned it for like four years and I've barely played it at all. Like haven't gotten past the tutorial like levels, have not played it. 
I'm such a pleb, I know, but unfortunately. I mean, I didn't get into it. Like, I bought it, I bought it for, like, um, to uh, learn more about, like, Koki Mirage sessions. Like, FE versus uh, SMT, right? That's when I got interested in it. Became interested in it. And I, um, I, I eventually got a hold of it, and I eventually played a little bit of it. And I liked it enough that I got, I got Koki Mirage sessions day one. And I love Tokyo Mirage Sessions, but I never actually finished uh, SMT4, and I don't know why. Well, well I do know why, because, like, I bought so much stupid bullshit, and I, I can't stay on top of all the games I own, because I'm so busy. But, yeah, I do. I do want to play it, uh, long story short. Hey, what the fuck? Yeah, I, I've heard 4 is really good. Like, I, I've heard people say it's, like, one of the best games on 3DS, so, uh, yes, I'm definitely eager to, to actually finish it. I don't know, man. I just... There's so many, like, great games to play, though. It's just... I'm definitely at that point where I don't feel like... I feel like I can't play everything that comes out. Like, there are so many SMT games on 3DS alone. Um, and they're, like, what, 40 hours each? Like, usually? And, like... They're all like mul they all have like multiple playthroughs. It's just ugh. I mean I I, I I guess I'm not part of the niche because I, I just didn't get into it. I mean I'm I'm sure I would like them if I had like was a little bit younger, but no. It really is one of those situations where I just like, yeah, I, I gotta work on my own shit, man. I gotta work on my own life and career. I, I don't wanna sit around playing video games all day. Of course I ended up doing that anyway, but uh Yeah, I wonder if there are, there are like, survivors here somewhere. You don't actually see any areas where these guys would actually hang out. Like, the researchers would actually hang out. That's actually something that I think Other M does better than this. Like, it actually seems to uh, to deal with the issue of, like, what happened to the, the ship people, if I, if I recall correctly. Madeline Bergman. Other M tried so hard to have a serious plot, and it completely failed. Like, I... I, I legit could write a better Metroid plot than Other M, for sure. Uh, I mean, I, I'm not even bragging, but, uh, yeah, I, I think I could. I mean, I haven't tried yet. You, you know what? I, I think I could try. Uh, I, I have... I had ideas for, like, a Metroid game. It, it, it's been kind of one, of one of my things um, lately uh, uh, to, like, just take ideas that I would have for uh, a plot for a video game and just adapt it into a novel. So uh, I, I think I could probably make a, a Metroid adaption. I actually have one plan. Uh, well, I, I was thinking about one. Um, we'll have to see. I don't know. Like I, I, I like Metroid too much, though. I just. Ugh. Here we go. Yep, it's up here. Search for survivors. I'm not sure how much longer. It's so difficult. Like, every time I play this game, I get confused as to how long it is. Like, it's only about three hours long, but I, I mean, I blow through it really quickly, but, like, I'm always like, wait a minute, where exactly am I, in the am I in the game? Like, in Super Metroid, like, you can always tell where you are, like, exactly, but in this one, I'm just like, oh, wait a minute. How, how close am I to the end, really? Uh... Fusion is an absolute beast. I love this game. Uh, did I stream my last playthrough too? No, no, no. This is the first time I streamed it. Uh, here we go. Oh, this is one of those weird rooms. Okay. So, what I think you do is that you basically just climb up here like this somehow? I, I don't know how this works, but oh shit. Idiot. Yeah, 
yeah, I, I haven't ranked the, the the Metroid games yet. Uh, honestly, I would say like um, this is probably my least favorite of the three. I, I don't know. No, I think I like this more than Zero Mission. Zero Mission, when I last played it, like I beat it in like an hour. It, it's crazy short even for a Metroid game. Uh, I, I remember I used to like uh, play it during long car trips, like when my parents dragged me on vacation somewhere to somewhere I didn't want to go. I would just play Zero Mission, like over and over and over again. It was so much fun. It, the game is really good at that. Uh, I wonder. If, I can't be the only person who's done it. Like I, I think I beat the game like two or three times once. I remember once I uh, I bought Final Fantasy VI Advance, and uh, I ended up playing it all, playing it like on the way home and I was just like I think I got to the world of ruin before uh, well, by the time we got back no not quite to the world of ruin uh, to, that, to that part where you defend Narsha from uh, the Empire that part damn I haven't played Final Fantasy 16 years I mean I love that I, I like that game I, I don't love it um, it's difficult to replay anything it really is like, this is about the best I can do, uh, these shorter games. Oops. Or, like, my absolute favorite RPGs. Like, I I'll make time for, like, some of my favorite RPGs. Like, I, I was thinking, like, I would play Earthbound again in a heartbeat. Like, I think I do prefer Earthbound over uh, Final Fantasy VI, actually. Which kind of surprises me. I do think VI is kind of overrated, honestly. Uh, people say it's one of the best ones. I don't know. I think I do prefer Seven personally. Uh, that's just my opinion, though. Uh... I mean, okay, get this, get this, okay, what you're supposed to do, I, th it's why I hate this area so much, okay, I think what you're supposed to do is, how exactly are you supposed to open this door? This isn't the first time I, I've gotten stuck here. I, I never have any idea what, what I'm doing. It's like some weird solution to the problem. Like, you have to get, like, past that door, and it just doesn't make any sense. Oh, shit. Oh, wow, did I, did I really kill it? Wow, that was, that was ridiculous. Uh... Honestly, I think I'm about ready to stop. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, I, I'd be fine with taking recommendations for games you want to see me play. So, uh, Just throwing that out there. Uh, oops. I can't believe I, I still haven't beaten this, though. Uh, it's taking me way too long. Oops. Yeah, I think I want to get back to work, actually. Uh... Oop. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I don't really care for streaming too much. Like, I always feel pressured, like, wait a minute. Should I stop streaming now? Uh, I kind of want to stop playing and do something else. Ah, uh, but people are watching. Uh... All right. Is that what you're supposed to do? Just go through the... Hang on. There's some, like, weird solution to the problem that doesn't make any sense. Uh... Yeah, I don't remember what you're supposed to do. I really don't. 
Uh, I think this room annoyed me last time too, so. I There's some turn I'm missing. Uh, shit. I hate. Alright. Alright. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've just been going around in circles. Ah, shit. Structured, I, I think there has to be something over here that I'm overlooking. Uh, there we go. Ah, damn, it's so obvious. Why did I fail? All right. Okay, wow. Well, it's like you have to go around so much anyway. Like, shit, like, why can't I just go up to this floor and do it? I, just... I can't believe these things are safe, but. Everything else fucking died. Of all the characters are returning. Oh, these guys have not <laughs> made it to Smash, so uh of all the all of all the reoccurring characters in Metroid, really, these are these are it. Uh I mean it's kinda charming in its own way, but it, it's kinda weird. It feels kind of out of place in Metroid. Almost. Honestly, like, uh... I hope they're safe. They somehow knew about the, uh, they somehow knew about my ship. All right. They just went there. Uh. Asshole. Adam is an asshole. He was never very nice. Just, uh, Samus, why... Samus has, like, daddy issues. I don't know if this is, like, intentional, but, like, the implication I get is that, like, Samus has, like, massive, massive daddy issues because of, like, being an orphan and just not having human contact. Like, does she have a sexual interest in Adam? I, I have no idea. Like, that's not the... That's... It doesn't seem to go that way, but... Uh, I mean, maybe she just doesn't understand it? I don't know. I don't know, like, I've speculated she's autistic in the past. Well, not not autistic, but just socially maladjusted. Uh, I mean, what the fuck does she do when she's not killing things? Like, shit, she probably does less than I do. She probably, like, sits in an apartment somewhere and just waits for something to happen. Like, that, that's what we need. We need, like, more details on, like, what Samus does in her free time. Like, Zero Mission seems to think she goes out to bars and shit like that, but I don't know, that can't be right.
Yeah, honestly, I think I'm done. Uh, I love this game, but yeah, I need, I need a break. Uh, yeah, it's been an hour and a half, which is about my limit, I think. Oof. I guess I could try to fight Mike Tyson again. <laughs> uh, punch out, because I never beat it. I didn't. I didn't beat him on this. Uh, this original, when I first got him, when I first got this game. Uh, I don't know. Well, punch out featuring Mr. Dream, so it's not Mike Tyson, but it kind of is. Um, yeah, it's getting late. I think I'm gonna have to play some uh, to finish reading Helsing, uh, do some reviews. Edit. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's see if I can do it. Let's see if I'm good enough to do it. Like, I'm wonder. Oh, oops. Yeah, I'm not doing the. I'm not doing the dodge right. Yeah, the Wii U gamepad is different than the Switch one, so I. That's probably it. Ah, damn. Yeah, I'm doing worse than I than I normally would. All right. Yeah, all my dreams are crushed. Wow, that, that's literally like a first timer's <laughs> round with Tyson. Wow, terrible. Uh, that's embarrassing. I guess I'll just stick with the Switch version from now on, so I don't get destroyed. Weird. Like you wouldn't think I've beaten him before with that with that performance. Wow. Um, Let's see here. Pikmin 3, Fire Emblem. Uh, yeah, at the moment, yeah. I, I think I am going to finish Metroid Fusion. Uh, I'll try to 100% the Wonderful 101. Probably not on stream. Yeah, I'll definitely be uh, playing the Wii U. Um, yeah, I think I'm ready.